called Full Time RV. We are Ed and Nora. We sold everything in 2009 and started living full time in our RV, traveling and working on the road. It's a good life. Today's video is where to look for income opportunities while full time RVing. Full time RVing is a lot to take in in the beginning, and when we first decided to take life on the road, it was pretty overwhelming. After a few ups and downs, we now feel like we have a solid foundation, and we want to share with you how we did it. Um, based on our experiences only. So just make sure when you are making the decision to go on the road, make sure you do all your research. Because RVing is great, but please don't let Instagram fool you. There's always something happening that forces you to adapt or adjust. And the scariest one of those some things is your bank account. So get creative, read the blogs, watch videos, Keep your eyes and ears open up for those opportunities. So if you need full-time employment, part-time, or you want to work free for sight, I hope you find this video helpful. Now get out there and enjoy the RV and lifestyle. Okay. Today we are just going to show you some options of what you can do and various ways that we look for jobs while living on the road. There are many good resources out there, and this is just to name a few. Of course, you can go to YouTube, and you can, many people are putting on videos and such on their experiences of different options they did. Of course, we talked about gate guarding. Gate guarding, um, there's a lot of different options out there. We'll just quick to this one. When you just do a general search, I did one oil for gate guard companies in Texas and several of them pop up so you can contact them directly. We work for um, gate guard security group. So that's a couple different options and also if you're on Facebook, there is there's oil filled gate guards. There's one. Funny. But a lot of the companies will post on there various jobs that they have open. My suggestion is don't comment on their post. They always leave their contact information and just contact them directly because many times they post it and then they never look at it so you wouldn't get the information that you need. One of our first ones is Workers on Wheels. And as you can see, here is the web address. What I do is I go to Google and I type in Workers on Wheels and it brings me right here. So I'm just going to scroll down and they show the newest job listings. So I'm going to click on that. Once that comes up, I just click down and they show the most current ones. We're just going to say um, this one pops up here and they get just very basic information here. But if you're possibly interested in doing that, you just click on the link. We'll get that to go. And then it'll take you where you can get more information. Now this is a free newsletter that you sign up for. And once they have new postings, you can get it right in your email. So this is free service for you. So they have general information about the position and they have all the contact information. Great, great service. Now in the, within this newsletter, they also have a section that's for more RV work. Many of these are just ideas of what you can look for. We're just going to say seasonal jobs because the beet harvest is just getting over and many people are looking at Christ Christmas tree sales. But here's just some basic ideas of what you could do. So you can just kind of look out there. This one I really like. It's workingcouples.com and we're just going to say, okay, we're in the U.S. And I think I want to spend the winter in Florida, so I'm going to click Florida. And then it'll pop up the most current. 
positions. Now this one you do have to sign in and it is free service as well but you just sign up and um, you also get emails daily when they have new postings. So you can always just keep checking on your email and see what opportunities are out there. So this one they show basic information. If I was signed in, it would have all the contact information for the position. But I am not signed in, so it does not tell me. So all you would do is sign up for this working couples. Great, great, great one. Okay, the big one is Work Camper News. As we know, this is also a paid service. But if you want to join today as a Work Camper, it's relatively cheap um, option for you. $19.95 up to $67 a year. Really inexpensive. And there's a lot of different options. I know as you get a, in a higher subscriptions, you can post your resume on there. And then employers go on there and they search you out. So this is kind of a neat one. And, and basic, they have training, employer tours. Another one that they had that I liked was where you can look and reviews work campers working with employees and they will give a review with that particular employer. Another common one indeed. Just type in temporary and let's see. We're just going to do temporary and here you go. You can break it down into how or the location, how you want to work, the location it is. Um, so this is this too is endless opportunities. Upload your resume so the employers can see it. Simply hired is a really good one. I just typed in gate guard and this one so it's not just oil filled location but the main gate guard here we go once you've uploaded your resume you could quickly apply for this position then there's workcampingjobs.com this is once again a free newsletter i'm just going to go to help wanted ads quick with my fingers just scroll down and here's the opportunities and then it has all their contact information this one I mean this one sounds really interesting huh and these are jobs that you can based on your needs like Ed and I we are not retired so we do need income to pay our bills so you've got an opportunity out there that is all pay you can look for part-time pay. You could look for part-time pay plus your free site. Or if you're not needing or wanting income, you can look for work for site only. Facebook is another good place. You can do random search for groups. Um, I happen to be a member of the Gate Guard Ladies group. That one is if you are already gay guards, you a gay guard, you can get in here because it's a private group. Otherwise, there's oil filled gay guards. You can go on and find information. Here's oil filled gay guard information. There's gay guard in the oil filled. And with these particular ones, they some of the reps for the gate guard companies will post jobs on here my suggestion is do not comment on that because a lot of times they post the job on there and they don't refer back to that if you have any questions so they always leave their contact information so contact them directly another one that i really enjoy looking is cool works cool works not it's just it's not just for rvers um, many of these provide housing as well 
so I mean this one's this one's really neat because employer housing find me housing and find my own housing it's I, it, they're very interesting let's just um, I let's just do Colorado here is some opportunities to come up places that you can start looking if you want to go to Colorado say if you want to be the seasonal city transport bus driver kitchen support a crew member um, I mean endless endless maintenance um, there's just so much and as you can see they're seasonal and a lot of the jobs you can go to the ski resorts that would be kind of a neat opportunity and you may not necessarily want to take your RV or you do not have an RV they may have housing here's another one that I just recently found this is kind of interesting as well and it's a search engine and I just put winter seasonal in and this is what comes up Vail Colorado here's one Keystone Colorado Beaver Creek just really neat opportunities out there so um, if you have any questions whatsoever about the opportunities where to look if you have any questions about gate guarding or work camping um, you can you're more than welcome to comment on this or you can send us an email and we can contact you we can be in communication with each other that way however you prefer but I hope you found today's video helpful to you.